Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? So the topic of today's lab is how you can easily install GitHub Copilot and you can easily set up in your Visual Studio code. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start the video. But before that, I just want to give you a little brief in introduction about what actually GitHub Copilot is. So the GitHub Copilot is basically a cloud based artificial intelligence tool that is developed by obviously it has two developers, which is GitHub and OpenAI, and it helps to assist users of Visual Studio code Visual Studio and JetBrains integrated development environments and it works by auto-completing code. So obviously by that is pretty clear. So it uh, uses prompts, commands in the form of comments and it, that it generates and auto-completes the code for you for our ease. All right, so I hope this will be pretty clear to you guys. So let's just not waste any time and let's get this video started. All right, so first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my Visual Studio code right here. Okay, so for installing the GitHub Copilot, I'm just going to go into my extensions first of all, which is on fourth option of the left corner over here. Uh, then I'm just going to go ahead and search GitHub Copilot. And you'll see that in uh, very first of your options right here, you just have to click on that. And then you can easily install that by this in install button that will appear right here. Obviously, yeah, I've already installed it, but you can uh, you will see an install button over here. After you have done installing the GitHub Copilot, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to github.com, which in this case, you are getting the link right over here. So I'm just gonna click over here. Okay, and it's gonna open a new window for you, which will be for the official website of github.com. And now what you're gonna need to do, you're gonna sign up an account for github.com. So you can see the sign up button right here. You're going to click on that. All right. So first of all, it's going to ask you to enter your email address. So I'm just going to enter my email address over here, which is I'm going to hit continue. Uh, and now it's asking me to create a password. So you're just going to create a unique strong password. And now it's going to ask you to choose a username for yourself. OK, so after we're done with everything, we're just going to go ahead and hit continue. OK, so then it's going to ask you some uh, other information. If you want to receive any product updates and announcements uh, via email, if you want to hear any updates and announcements from them, so obviously you can hit yes, but now I'm just going to hit no for that because I don't want it. All right. So it's going to ask you to verify some human puzzles. All right. So I guess that's all. After we're done with the puzzle, we're just going to go ahead and hit this button, which says create account. I'm just going to click on that. All right. So now uh, for the verification, it will send you a code in your Gmail. So you're just going to go ahead and copy that and paste it right here. All right. So after you're done with your code. So it will ask you a few more questions regarding yourself, like if you are any team member or if you are a student or what, just going to fill up all those information according to yourself. I'm going to hit continue and after that it's going to ask some more questions, just going to answer that according, according to your need. Okay, you're going to hit continue for free and yeah. Yes, it's initializing right now. All right, so it seems like our GitHub account has been created. So after that, you're just going to go ahead and go to this uh, little badge right here and you're going to hit future preview uh, over here. Your few features will be disabled by default. You're just going to go to them and enable all of those which are disabled, like this rich Twitter notebook disk. You're going to enable that as well. You're going to enable project migration as well. And yeah. I think that's working pretty fine now. Yeah, so after you're done with the uh, account and everything, you can simply minimize or close this file, uh, come back to your Visual Studio code. You're gonna generate a new file, a new text file, select a language. I'm, I'm be, I'll be selecting Python for today. All right, so now we'll check if our copilot is working or not. We're just gonna hit a comment, any comment here, just to see if it'll generate the code for us or not. So for the comment, I'm gonna type I'm going to ask him to write me a program that prints out the number of seconds in a year. All right. That seems to be interesting. Let's just go for that. I'm going to hit enter. All right. So you can see it's uh, suggesting me the code. It just applied a simple function of print in which it's going to be multiplying the days of the year to 24, which will be converted into hours and it will be converting that to uh, minutes and then seconds. See, all right. I'm just going to hit tab and press enter. I'm just going to go ahead and run this file just to see if we have any correct output. Let me just save it first by hitting control S for the output. We're going to go to terminal. We're going to go to new terminal and let's change this PowerShell to command prompt. All right. So first of all, we'll do command of desktop. And after that, the format for the output, which is 
uh, Python and the name of the file, which in this which in this case is C O P one dot P Y. All right, let's just enter now. And yeah, as you guys can see, it just gave us the correct output for the code we just uh, wrote in, in the comment, which was to find the number of seconds in a year. All right, so our AI generated GitHub Copilot is working absolutely fine. There are no issues at all. So that will be it for our today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to watch more videos like that. Keep following and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you. Bye bye.